Hi there everybody, it's Verity here from incubatorfly.wordpress.com Thank you for joining me uh, again today for a card making video So today we're going to have a play with these three colours So we've got Bermuda Bay, Blackberry Bliss and Cherry Cobbler These are colours that we currently have going on um, in our team group as a bit of a colour challenge So I'm going to share with you how I arrive at a card design Had a bit of a think about it And I think... Um, we're using, well I know we're using actually, uh, the Many Mates uh, stamp set which does come with uh, a coordinating die set called Many Medallions and I've used this great big die uh, to cut out uh, an element for the background as well. So this is what we're using and we're going to do a multicoloured sentiment and we're going to do that using the Stampin' Artist tool. I'm just going to put these down in a moment. So here's the Stamparatus. If you haven't seen it before, this is uh, Stampin' Up's uh, stamp positioning tool. It's totally fabulous. A really, really great thing to have in your arsenal. I'm just putting the stamp case behind there because it helps to support the window or plate or whatever you want to call it. It comes with two plates so you can mount... Um, stamps both above and uh, to the side and do multi-layered stamping if you so wish. I've already mounted the You're Just So Fabulous stamp there and I've just got a scrap of cardstock because we're going to be die cutting the sentiment afterwards and I've brought in the coordinating stamp and white markers so that we can get a multi-coloured look to our sentiment. I'm going to start with the lightest colour, which is Bermuda Bay. One of my ultimate favourite colours ever. I'm not going to concern myself if it goes slightly on onto the other ones. We could, could wipe it off if you want to. But we're looking for a sort of multicoloured effect, so it's not going to be too much of a problem. So if you ink up the image with the brush end, on its side, just drag that colour across the portion you want to ink and I do find that with the markers uh, doing it twice is beneficial uh, which also means that uh, the, the functionality of the stamping tool basically speaks for itself there okay I'm going to bring in the Blackberry Bliss for the your So I'll just strike that across. Like so. And the second time. Just builds up that intensity of the colour. And then finally we've got Cherry Cobbler. For the fabulous. Of course we could have done this in a whole variety of ways, we could have just done different portions, sort of made it a bit more, um, I don't know, variegated if you like. Okay, so that's um, the ink sort of puddled into, in between the lines on that U there. Um, I'm not going to worry about it right now, I have one I've already got um, prepared. But we could easily get around that. Uh, little if you want if you think it's a mistake then it's a then um I'm just gonna grab the chamois just so that we can wipe whoops the ink off that stamp just for now anyway I'll give it a proper clean off camera later then we can take away the magnet take away the piece of paper the magnets have a position underneath so that they can be stowed away nice and safely. Like so. And then what we're going to do is use some Wink of Stella. And I'm just going to go over those letters with the Wink of Stella. 
just very gently and this will actually pull a little bit of the colour out of the line art so the fact that that U has got a little bit of colour to it isn't distressing me um, too much so we'll just do that so it adds a bit of sparkle as well and like I say just a hint of colour going on for those letters okay so that's the effect that you get I wonder if um, that picks up on the camera yeah see that all sparkling away okay and it's just given a hint of colour to the uh, to the inside of those letters as well okay so I have already um, done one of these anyway uh, and I've die cut that with one of the stitched rectangles so it's ready to mount up okay so that's already done and dry it's the Winker Stella just takes a moment or two so um, I just wanted to do that ahead of time I've got a Whisper White card base here ready to go as well and a Whisper White stamp layer which is going to be uh, the background for this lovely lacy uh, die so the die itself is much bigger than that as you can see so what I've actually done is just cut away that central portion uh, to make a panel for my card okay this is sized um, better for an American A2 card which is a slightly different dimension uh, but it, it will work with UK uh, car bases as well. So this white layer that I've cut is actually three and three quarters by five and a half. Okay, so it's going to give us a nice white on white layer with our car base there. Oops. And we're going to have that over the top. Somewhere in the middle. And the sentiment's going to go somewhere like that, and we're going to add some flowers in the coordinating colours. So that's where we're going with it. Okay. So I think, or do I want to raise this up on dimensional? Well, I might do actually. Let's um, let's keep the options open just for a moment and put that car base away. So I did actually uh, add some sticky sheet on the back of this. Right, confession: this is not the Stamping Up sticky sheets. I had some already um, from an, a, another manufacturer, uh, which is white yellow. The, um, the Stamping Up ones are just just has a white uh, background to it, and most of those little excess bits came away with the release paper. And I'm just poking those away. See how sticky that is. Ooh. That's stuck that in. It will come off. I've just got to get the right angle on it. She says. And this is just the, the fibres of the paper and the, the adhesive are just keeping that in place. It has come out. It's been die cut. Fine. It's just um, holding on for dear life. And just get it away from the edge of there. That would be lovely. Let's cut that one. And there's another one up here. Which we just need to poke out. There we are. Got it. Okay. So now the uh, the uh, tricky part here will be making sure this lays down so that. Um, we don't uh, we get it straight so I'm going to turn it up, upside down just eyeball that again so what are we about a quarter of an inch from the top and the bottom okay let's, let's, let's go with that just using my grid paper to help me visualize that a little bit um, and we'll we'll go over there that looks about right firm pressure on that. I like to rub up um, my bone folder over the top of that 
so we get a really nice textured white on white look by adhering that die cut uh, over there of course we could use black white and various other colors as well so it's just uh, a matter of personal choice and what lends itself nicely to your particular card design so let's pop it up let's give it some extra dimension So I'm gonna to, going to be quite generous with the dimensionals so that it's well supported because it's quite a large panel. I'm sure there'll be people freaking out going, oh my goodness, that's a lot of dimensionals. Uh, and it is a lot of dimensionals, it, it's a, more than I normally use as well. But um, I want it to be well supported, I want this to look nice. And for me personally, uh, I don't use my own money on stamping dimensionals because as a demonstrator or even as a customer if you if your order goes um, over a certain threshold you earn stamping rewards so you start earning um, credit if you like product credit that you can spend on things and I tend to use my credit or my stamping rewards specifically for things like adhesive, white cardstock, that kind of thing, the consumables basically, so I don't ever feel like I'm paying for any of it, which is fabulous. Because uh, I want to get this nice and lined up, I am adding just dabs of um, wet glue, the multi-purpose glue, over the top of that, and it's just going to give me a moment or two to make sure that I've lined that up as straight as I can yeah. just give you a moment or two and then press down that wet glue will sort of take a minute to bond but the uh, the dimensionals will grab straight away so, there we go so that's our card base looking good got our sentiment and what I want to do is use the coordinating coloured cardstocks which are just here so just uh, if you didn't catch it it's Blackberry Bliss, Bermuda Bay and Cherry Cobbler so I'm just going to use this small bloom punch and I'm going to cut a flower just one for a total of three because odd numbers look nice Small bloom punch, I absolutely adore. Okay, my first ever Stampin' Up purchase was the uh, got bits of uh, release paper everywhere. My first ever purchase from Stampin' Up uh, a long time ago, if before I was a demonstrator, was um, something called Petite Petals, which was a very similar punch to that. I might have had six petals, can't quite remember now. However, I loved it and uh, it was retired. And we now have that one, which is a very suitable replacement. So, um, I've done this uh, a few times before in my videos. So, this is a I, I've had this forever. I've crafted for a long time before I was in a stamping up demo show. So, this is like a plastic large ball tool and just a bit of foam. And by pressing over that, you get the the most fabulous sort of texture and dimension to your little flowers and they just so that the petals come up and just gives them a, a so much more dimension okay so that's a little trick uh, for you so now we just want to um have a play about with the positioning now my first thought is that we lay them out in a similar fashion to the uh, the way I've stamped the sentiment you could flip it around you could do whatever you like but that that's looking nice to me okay I think the other thing I'd like to add is some uh, some foliage of some description so 
uh, we don't have the leaf punch anymore but we do have this beautiful sprig punch and that might do nicely and I'm cutting those from vellum I think those will look lovely and add another level of texture in there as well okay beautiful okay loving it and then then we can just put some demontes into rhinestones into the uh, centers of the flowers lovely okay right we'll get this um sentiment added just put a bit of um a bit of foam on the back of that we're going to give it a bit of support and we'll have that sort of being framed by the pattern so I'm going to look at the pattern of the background and just make that look even she says I can't see flat there we are okay and again wet glue will be our friend here because it will give us a little bit of time just to be sure that we're happy with the placement of all our bits and bobs so just a bead of that on the back of those um, flowers then and he was going to pick in up there wasn't he and then we'll have cherry cobbler and bermuda bay Stunning, loving it. Blackberry Bliss is one of. Oh, in fact, I like all these colours. Cherry Cobbler tends to only really make an appearance at Christmas, to be fair. But uh, Bermuda Bay and Blackberry Bliss are just, just lovely colours. Right, I'm just going to put dabs of glue. I'm actually doing both sides so that it, um, it will either adhere to the back of the flower or to the card, whichever it makes contact with. So. And just press that down a little bit and then that will secure that bit same with this one not sure what it will make contact with so we'll do both sides just a little dab both sides tuck it in underneath those and like i say the uh, wet glue just gives us a little bit of forgiveness there and it dries clear as well so if there is any that's um not covered by the elements in the card it will dry clear and you won't be able to see so just some sparklies left to do which again I always forget to take these out of my drawer before I uh, before I come on there they are now which size is best should we just go with little ones what do you think little ones just for a hint of something Big ones might be a little much. Yeah, nice and subtle. Good choice. So that's all in keeping with our colour theme, our colour challenge. So there's no colour on those as well. I do like to try and stick to the the colour challenge as much as possible and, uh, and that right done did you like that I think I think that's turned out pretty cool very very simple design um but has so much going on in a really subtle way I think that looks really really cute I hope you like it too um I will link the uh die stamps and the uh, punches that I've used in the description so if you click down below there'll be direct links to my online store I'd love it if you, you chose me to be your demonstrator if you, it's the first time you've shopped with Stampin' Up I, I certainly have never regretted it and I've been a demo for five years and I was a customer before that so I've been buying Stampin' Up products for a long long time now and they're pretty much apart from a few little sort of tools and bits and bobs I've collected over the years it's pretty much all I use now okay great thanks everybody please do click the like button and subscribe if it's your first visit here 
and I will see you again very very soon take care everybody please do stay, stay safe and uh, I'll catch you again soon okay bye